So in the other videos, I showed you how to use the dash method here when dealing with permutations or combinations. Now, if you're pretty comfortable with that, we're going to take it up a notch here, make it a little bit more difficult in terms of the problem, but we're still going to stick here to the old dash method. You're going to see this is the best way to deal with permutation then or combinations. So a jousting tournament requires a team consist of two knights and two squires. And the merry band is forming a team from five knights and three squires. How many different lines, lined ups can the merry band field? So things are different. We have dashes. It looks like we have four spots here because that's how many people on the merry band. However, we have to break up these four spots because in two spots we have knights. People are trying out to be a knight. And in the other spots, we have people trying out to be squires. So you can see that things, what we're going to have here is going to be different from this number here. So we have to deal with these two elements, knights and squires respectively, to deal with them separately. So what are we going to put here in the first dash? Well, we have two knights. And how many knights are trying out? A total of five are trying out. So five knights can go here, four knights can go here. Now the big question, is it combinations or permutations? So you have to ask yourself, are the knights different? Is there the chief knight and the underling knight? Well, no, they're simply one group known as knights. And so we're dealing with combinations and therefore we divide by the number of dashes factorial, which in this case is two factorial, which is two. And you can see that two cancels out the two here. It gets us five times two is 10. So we have this number and I'm gonna put a little square around it. We're gonna come back to it in a moment, but we're gonna apply the same math to squires over here now. And with squires, we have again, two spots, but only three people are trying out. So three times two divided by, again, two factorial, which is two. So we can just get rid of that two. And just like that, we have three. Now, what do we do? Now that we have a three up here with a three and the 10, do we add them, do we multiply them? Again, it's dash, dash, we're dealing with the dashes separately, but once you have the numbers here, you're still dealing with dashes. And because we're always dealing with dashes, we're always multiplying, so therefore 10 times three is 30, and that is answer choice D.